Hey geographers, it's Mrs. T and this is a midterm pulse check because we're at the end of week four and I just want to make sure that you're aware of the schedule that we have in the class and the points that are going to be used for midterm because reaction papers and quizzes, as some of you might recall, but others of you, you know, I know you don't have it memorized or anything. Uh, some of you might recall that you don't have to do a reaction paper every single week and you also don't have to do a quiz every single week because there's six extra reaction papers built into the semester schedule and there's seven extra quizzes built into the semester schedule so I just want to let you know since we have those skips built into the system and you get to decide when you skip them I don't have the skips predetermined for you I wanted to make sure that you knew how many points from reaction papers and quizzes specifically but also projects and the midterm test were going to be included in the midterm average and when all of those things had to be turned in for me to to um, to use them and post them to the portal for your midterm grade so um, reaction papers and quizzes are weekly and we will have had seven uh, weeks that passed between the first of the semester and when midterm average grades have to be calculated and posted to the portal so they're going to be posted to the secure portal that you have to log into not to blackboard there's always a running total of your, the points that you've earned in blackboard for you to refer to but some of you are going to have more points than I'm going to use for uh, the midterm average because by the time midterm rolls around, which October 10th, is I think a Monday and that's when the midterm uh, test has to be due in order for me to include it in the midterm average calculation and so between now and October 10th there will have been seven reaction paper opportunities most of you have already begun your reaction paper quest and you have one or two under your belt this is after all the end of week four so our fourth opportunity is due the Saturday of week four and so since I'm posting this for you on Friday of week four uh, you have four more reaction paper opportunities between now and uh, midterm grade calculation one of those opportunities must be posted by Saturday of week four before midnight when the link goes away or you've missed your opportunity to post that now like I said most of you already have one or two at least some of you have all three under your belt already and so you're gonna be and pretty but if a couple of you don't have any reaction papers under your belt yet please 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 start now text me with questions re-watch video 2 in the syllabus and logistics folder that you'll find at the bottom of your course content scroll all the way down to the beginning and um, watch it over again look at the syllabus with that explanation look at the reaction paper guidelines that are on the opening page of blackboard look at the extra credit discussion board where your friends can post examples of what they got credit on or ideas for what they're going to write about and you can interact with them but please get started now because if you haven't turned one in yet you have four opportunities to do it and get credit between now and the end of the uh, in the end of the midterm period which I'm gonna um, refer to October 10th as as the end of the midterm period and so um, you need to have as many as possible I'm gonna use 50 points for your midterm average for, um, you know, halfway uh, is what midterm means. And so since you get 100 points from reaction papers for the whole semester, I'm going to use 50 as the standard for the midterm grade average. Some of you are going to have as many as 70 points by that time, but I'm not going to use all of your 70 points at midterm. We will wait to use that extra 20 at the end of the semester. I'm only going to use 50. But if you haven't begun your reaction papers yet, then begin them now so that you can at least have a chance at earning 40 out of 50 points that I average on your midterm average. And if you only have 40 out of 50 by midterm, you will still have eight more reaction paper opportunities so that you can turn those in, or it might even be nine. I think it's nine reaction paper opportunities after midterm to get the remainder that you need to earn a perfect score um, for, the, for the semester. Additionally, with quizzes, I'm only going to use your 10 highest quiz scores at the end of the semester. So at midterm, I just cut it in half and I'm going to use the five highest quiz scores. By the time midterm rolls around, we will have had eight quiz opportunities 
opportunities. And so I'm going to look at all of those eight quizzes and I'm going to pick out the five that you made the high, you as an individual made the highest on. I'm not just going to say quizzes two through six, you know, or whatever are the ones that I'm going to use. I'm going to look at the one, one through eight and whichever of the one through eight you had the five highest scores on, I'm going to use that for a total of 50 points. You only get, it's only possible to earn 100 points on quizzes for the whole semester and we have 17 quizzes. And so, um, you know, seven scores are going to be thrown out between now and the final grade average. Three scores are going to be thrown out between now and the midterm time, October 10th. Uh, you'll have, you will have had eight opportunities to do quizzes. We have two projects that are going to be completed midterm, uh, by the midterm time. Project one, I almost have all of them graded. I think I have four more of you to grade. Sorry that they're not all done yet. But project one is, you know, is in your back pocket. It's done. Your grade will be posted very soon if it's not already. And project two uh, will be due sometime at the beginning of, um, week seven you'll have all of week six and week seven or the beginning of week seven to um to work on that and it's going to be looking at um, population trends and industrialism and development as like solutions to population and um industrialized farming some of that stuff that i've been referring to in um in uh, some of the video lessons that you've been watching Okay, so there will be two, there are 50 points each, so that's 100 points total. And then the midterm test will be open. The midterm test will cover every chapter that we have covered this semester. So remember, we jumped around a bit. We went through one through three, and then we jumped to chapters, I think it was 10 and 11, whatever chapters correspond to development and industrialization. That's what we're on right now. And so... Um, so you will have a clear, like I will outline, these are, you know, weeks one through seven, every chapter that we covered from week one through seven will be covered on the midterm and you will have it available to you October 5th through October 10th. You can work on it, close it, go back to it, work on it later. It's all open book, of course, all open notes. So, um, so you know, work on it, at, but have it turned in. I think this is a Monday by midnight on that Monday is when it has to be turned in so that I can have all these grades done and averaged and calculated and posted to the portal by the time midterm rolls around. You will, in my class at least, have a very, very good picture of what your final grade average is probably going to be. And so if you're happy with your midterm average when it's posted to the portal, keep it up. Just keep the same process and keep on going. If you would like your midterm average to be slightly higher than it might turn out to be, then we can work together to prioritize how you have to refocus and set small goals so that you achieve those reactions papers more regularly if that was your issue or you would take better notes and more thorough notes and spend more time with the lecture material if your project scores were the ones that were low we will work together and figure out what kind of individual goals we can set so that you have the entire rest of the semester for us to work together and you're going to be successful in this class because that's the um that's the point learning and success right um and so i'm here to help you and that's the purpose of this video just kind of a little pulse check so that you can make sure to to uh, focus your next few weeks, uh, small goals that you set for yourself to achieve the highest point values you can for these things that um, are going to be your obligations in geography class between now and then. So please don't be strangers. Text me with questions and I will see you in another lesson very soon. Bye.